Star Wars no. democracy one. Say what? Star Wars clip that. Star Wars. Wars. Yes, go ahead. It was basically like um, you see things in black or white, and you're either with me or against. And me. who was that parody supposedly? Um, I think it was like the U.S. democracy system. President Bush is one plus five for that one. You gave me the last right answer. I love President Bush. Zola's proof. Oh, hold up. Was that? It wasn't a parody. It was a commentary. Well, I, I, I can give them credit on that one. You got one more. Go back. How you doing? I'm pretty good. Sweet. That's true too. Okay, plus five for that one. All right, pick me a category, please. Zola's group. Five, four, three, two. Four points. Question time. First hand, Siraj. No, you raised your hand first. It's a turn. It's a turn. Go ahead, Siraj. Your group's got it. Anybody in the group? When they're in, like, say, for example. Five down. Go ahead. For example, when they're in like England, uh, they got uh, the question, question time where you got the prime minister who oh, goes gosh. against the minority, uh, I guess, minority leader. Okay. Yeah, the minority leader, and they pretty much they question him, and he has to pretty much back up all his uh, policies and uh, what he's done wrong, and yeah, pretty much he's held accountable for what he's done. Okay, the prime minister is held accountable. Plus four. Can your group add anything else? Um, basically, they use quite. Question time can be used as a way to kind of like smear like the uh, the prime minister, like okay. the minority leader can call him out. Like so you can make him uh, stand up to his policies, you know, basically explain them. Slime you can also throw. smear them a little bit, draw Slime. some embarrassment, plus four, anything else. It's my boy back here. Plus you can, uh, uh, this is the it's chance where you, get, where you can get other people to pretty much get against the prime minister from different parties. If you can pull something together that um, everybody, I guess, has in common that they don't like against the party. So you could, I guess, and in, in the long run, you could have the vote of no confidence, but it would be a while. Okay, uh, getting a little general now. Go ahead, Josh. Uh, Your next one. The most important thing about question time is that it allows the opposite party to call in the question not only the policies but the actions of the uh, majority party, but not necessarily through that they're going to make change, but through the, a popular opinion that the uh, the – that the other supporters will call and, in fact, call into change. Okay. They're making sure that yep. that whatever policies that the majority leader has is accountable for, um, and is and is held with it. I mean, within um, the the powers. I mean, he's he's saying what he's needed to do. Okay. I mean, the basic thing is that he's being held accountable. Okay, I think they said all that. You did say it a little bit better. Give him two for that. Go ahead, Jonathan. <laughs> Shh, make sure you don't repeat. Question time happens once a week. Yeah, it, does. it does happen once a week. Anything else? Um, Shh. It's not only the minority leader that gets asked questions. It's also other people of other people with both parties or all parties get the opportunity to ask the prime minister questions once a week. Plus eight. Anything else? And McCain wanted to have question time. But Say again? McCain wanted to have question time. This McCain is true. wanted to have question time if he was elected president of the United States. Plus four more. Go ahead, Ryan. And um, also, if he gets too out of control, the guy was like, order, he'll like cancel it and say. Who is that? Um, uh, who is that guy? He's the judge guy. <laughs> the judge guy. First hand I see, David. The speaker. The speaker. Give them plus four more. All right, David's group, you picked me the last correct answer. If you will, pick me the next category, please. Um, chapter 14 for three points. Chapter 14 for three. Oh, God. Signing statement. First, actually, you guys have it. Sabella's next. Go ahead. Signing statement. Five, four, three. What's that? That's to do with checks and balances. That's What's that now? Doesn't have to do with checks and balances. <laughs> Two, one. Go ahead, Sabella. Your group's got it. John's got it next. The president like passes the law, but he says, um, I don't have to enforce it if it interferes with my presidential powers. Okay, president signs a bill into law, and then we'll have a little statement down at the bottom that says, I reserve the right not to enforce this because it infringes upon my executive authority. Plus six, tell me more. And there's an example with torture. Torture is a really good example. Plus three, anything else? Your group's got it. Anybody back? Uh, Congress could have like um, used their power to like make him not do this, but because Obama was uh, coming up, they didn't want to take that power away from him. Plus three, absolutely. Anything else? It is controversial because it kind of interferes with the checks and balances and kind of takes the power away. How does it interfere with the checks and balances? Because if you can tell me that, that's what I need. 
It takes away the power from Congress to make laws to control the president's executive power. The president is basically making law by using this, and Congress is the one that's supposed to. That's plus three. Anything else back there? Go ahead, Dan. Uh, president Bush has abused his power like, uh, more than all the presidents before. There's like 460 <laughs> Abused times. might be a judgment call, yeah, but he has certainly me. used it more than all other presidents in American yeah, history. Combined, plus three. Anything else? Um, um, John, oh, go ahead. Actually, it's very similar to a line item veto. We'll talk about Actually, don't get points for that one, because I don't think we we'll talked about that either. Hey, John, did you have anything? John. Um, you don't have to have anything. Jingle Hammer Smith. That's my name. Two, one, three. Did you have something? You're good. Go ahead, Leon. Leon's got it. The Republicans um, basically were in control when this happened, so but they didn't do anything about it. Right. Because. Well, the Democrats didn't do anything about it when they had a majority of the Congress because then they knew Obama was going to be oh, president. No, so they minus three. Yeah, that's been said. Oh, what? they said it, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's been said. Minus three. They said it. Okay. Oh, 